Hey fams, today I'm going to be cooking again and I'm going to be making, Scarlett wants to say it, so. Bacon wrap. Meatloaf cupcakes. Yeah. Bacon wrap meatloaf cupcakes. I haven't and I'll tried show them, you, but I think uh, they're delicious. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. Flip this camera around so you know what you need and I'll go through it step by step. All right, so this is a take two because I uh, messed up the first take. So what you're gonna need is some ketchup and some mustard. I like this. You're gonna need your bacon. You're gonna need two eggs, onion, and you're gonna need to chop that. Two pieces of bread that you're gonna need to toast to make bread crumbs. And two ground meats. I use turkey and ground chicken because that's all we have right now, but it'll be a healthier version. Um, you're going to need some mashed potatoes with some milk and some butter and the seasoning mix that I like. Scarlet's fingers are all up in it. Season all and some garlic powder. Some Italian seasoning is a must. And of course salt, pepper, and paprika. You're going to need a mixing bowl for all the meat ingredients and all the stuff. And you're going to need a couple muffin tins. Maybe two. Tins. I said a couple. So that's all the stuff you're going to need for this, I'm pretty sure. I didn't miss a thing. Um, I will show you step by step how to do this in a second. Alright, so I'm starting my potatoes. And this is just a normal Hungry Jack. And I'm just doing it the easy way. I'm doing the six person. So I got one and three quarters cup of water, three tablespoons of butter, or a little more little bit of salt. I put some garlic in there too. Um, a cup of milk. I put a little more milk in and two cups of potato flakes. So, well, you know how to make mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are easy. Just bring it to a boil, add the potatoes, stir. And now I will show you and set up how to mix all the ingredients together over here. I got everything all set up. So I will set this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. As you can tell, I have this right here. And I'll just wash my hands. So I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. And the onion. I already chopped these up and made the breadcrumbs. Now what I want to do is to coat all that with the two egg. Seasoning. Does that look okay over there, Scar? Yeah, show the name again. Well, it's just Italian seasoning. And then we're going to add some salt. You guys can, you know, I don't measure my seasoning, so I'm really sorry about that. I just, I don't measure my seasoning. I just know what to do to make it taste good, I guess. Just add as much as you want. I would say like a couple table teaspoons of salt, a couple teaspoons of pepper, about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of the garlic, um, probably a really tiny bit of this because you don't want a whole bunch. Just, I always, the way I do seasoning, it's like I look and I coat the top to my liking. Mm -hmm. And then this some seasoned salt just for some added salty flavor in case you didn't add enough salt because it has some other stuff in it yeah. so so good makes it good and then we'll get to the, li the other liquid stuff uh -huh. kind of a layered thing uh -huh. now we're gonna add our ketchup and you always have to shake your ketchup and you shake your ketchup you have to shake your ketchup up okay scarlet's got commentary in the background here sorry guys 
Sorry. <laughs> and we're going to shake up our mustard. mustard. Oh, there we go. I was going to look at it. I'm glad I didn't. I would have just got that in the eye. Give it a good coat in there. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to use utensils because I usually use my hands and it smells. I don't use utensils Good mom. I'll just use a spoon and a fork. I'll see how good I can do. Well, I'll try a fork first. I'm used to using my hand, and I just don't want to be gross on camera. But you know what? It's cooking. My hand's clean. This is how I do it, guys. Just get it with your hands. I just get in there. I mix it with my hands. But we wash your hands all the time, yeah, so. I got probably the thinnest hands anybody's ever seen. I wash them too much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my sleeves are getting. Okay. I wear a short sleeve shirt. Okay, you want to make sure it's all mixed, like the two meats are mixed proper, uh -huh. all the eggs are mixed. Scarlet, so please don't. Sorry about this video, it's not going to do that great, guys. Sorry. I'm trying, it. I'm trying it a different way, but we'll see how it, how it works. After this, I'm going to have to wash my hands again, and then we have to do uh, the bacon in the pan, and the rest of the stuff that we have to do for this. Uh -huh. I have to make my potatoes here in a minute. It's so basically, slime. Basically, that's what you do, guys. You push the off there. Alright, guys. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my bacon. Line the inside of a tin. That's just a little better. And if you got a little left over, go right on the bottom. Kind of like so. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of like that. And then you'll take a scoop of your mixture. Just like that. This is what it should look like. I'm just showing you one and then I'll do it like a whole pan off camera. And then I'll show you the next part when I get all these done. So this is the entire pan. I had enough bacon to do 18. There's one without bacon. Poor guy. But anyways, I want to show you the next step. If I can grab these. Nope. Oh. Bring your little pan over to your mashed potatoes. Mash. First, you're going to put your oven on 350. Get that going. I'm going to take a scoop of your potatoes. And you put it right on top. You put it right on there. Like that. And it's kind of like a cupcake, like it's the frosting. So, liner, filling, frosting. Exactly, Scarlett. You just put a little bit on each one and then you even it out as you go. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do it. I haven't tried the butter. You've had these. Not with the baking cups, though. No. But yeah. I haven't tried this kind, but I have. Just keep at it until you get them all filled. See? Alright, let me get these all covered because it's hard to hold a camera and try to, you know, put stuff on potatoes at the same time. So, I'll show you when they're done and about to be in the oven. Alright, there's the finished product. They got their bacon, their meat contents, and the potato. And they look like little cupcakes. And no. the oven timer went off. So, we have Scarlet hold the camera. Okay. So, I'm going to 
Oh no. You want to put these in? 40 minutes. It's about 6.47. I'll be taking these out. And I'm making some green beans with it. Got to have something else. Got them all out. It's a little fatty on the top. This one, the fat burnt out too. But. Keep one up here so you can kind of see how they lift. See? They lift right out. Kind of cool. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it.